Thanks for being here. Uh, credit to our opponent. They played their tails off. Uh, I'll play this up front, I think. You know, I'm just a little upset with the way we played uh, up front and um, got to get that fixed. You know, it's always been a strength of Ohio State football and has been for quite a while. And they were coming on. So I, without making too big a deal of it, I just got to, we got to evaluate uh, that and, and play better as we hit the stretch run here. Um, JT Barrett. Um, had a sprained knee and came in and continued to do what he did. And, and even on the drop back passes, is either coverage sack or pressured. And uh, he pulled through a couple plays and made some great plays for us. So uh, much improved on defense against a very quality quarterback. And, uh, you know, Joe Bosa kind of at the end. And the thing about Joey Bosa, when you get a sack like that, there's also interior pressure to not allow him to step up. So um, we'll take it. A great win against a, a quality opponent in one of the toughest environments. Uh, that you'll have, and uh, we'll certainly get on a plane tonight and and regroup. But enjoy the win, and then regroup as we continue on. Front row, Steve. Coach, uh, you guys over the last month have had some easier games. Obviously, winning by an average of over 40 points a game. Are you impressed with just the result your kids showed? I mean, this was all Penn State in the second half. And you guys found a way to pull it out. Yeah, yeah I was uh, very impressed. You know, this team puts in a lot of work, and uh, you know when they. Uh, I knew they were going to pick that side. They go down in there. Uh, um, we play defense first. They go score, and then we had to come back into that. That was one of the toughest, you know, to see your freshman quarterback do that. And um, I mean, it was. I actually pulled my ear off a couple of times to hear it. That was. That's. Uh, you can't get louder. And uh, and the uh, nut it up and get it done like that. They did a nice job. Front row there, Todd. Urban, when did when did JT sprain his knee? Right at the late, late end of the first half. Did it change the way you guys oh, yeah. would call plays? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, you know, uh, you know, I just we, we we tried to manage the game, and, and you know, we just I didn't like the way we we went about business in the second half, and and when you're not moving people, and then they start teeing off on you, that's kind of felt like what was happening. We have good skill, and we couldn't get them the ball, so we got to you know, reevaluate a bunch of stuff we're doing. Do you feel lucky to get out of here? I don't use that term luck. I mean, it's like I never call someone and say good luck because why do you work? You know, say good luck and go home early tonight and put that rabbit's foot in your pocket and hope things work out. We don't do that. It's not luck. It's, I mean, it was a tough game. Penn State's a, a very rugged defensive unit. Boy, did they play hard. And um, if we would have not turned the ball, you know, if, 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 if we would not turn the ball over and took care of business, then uh, we'll see what would happen. But that's part of the game, and we didn't play very well. Far left here, Clay. How gratifying is it to see JT kind of come full circle? So some are going to fault him for those mistakes. Yeah. You know, the, the pick six that kind of gave the momentum, and yet in yeah. the overtime, when it looked like you were dead to rights, he's the one that gets it done. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, uh, I would have to imagine. You know, I remember when I went to do his home visit, and you see the quality of people. His best friend, uh, family that's so close to him. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, his, uh, his family. You see the way that kid's raised. He's a tough guy, man, that just does things right. And usually people that do things right get rewarded. Far right to the right. Uh, Coach, JT really, is, uh, his confidence is getting better and better each game. And how pleased are you with that? First of all, in this environment, as you mentioned, one of the toughest ones you can play in. And uh, down in overtime, he comes back and uh, ties the game and ultimately uh, wins the game. Well, the confidence got a little rattled there in the second quarter. Uh, and then obviously the third quarter, the opening drive, I think, was a pick six. And that kind of environment got a lot, you know, to say he was walking around like a extremely confident quarterback in the third quarter, that wasn't the case. But once again, just the way this kid's raised, and uh, uh, I, just, I just have so much admiration for people like that. That just, you know, I, I can imagine the way he was raised, just you can see the way he was performing. And I remember seeing him and Tom Herman talking about him when we went down to see him in Wichita Falls, Texas. and. Uh, uh, but he, he wasn't overly confident in the third quarter, but I'll tell you, at the end of the game, to go make a play, he did it for us. Far left here, Tim. Perfect. Too quick was when uh, uh, JT went out there for overtime, did y'all did y'all talk to him about the probably the keeper off the option was there, or was that just purely his running his calls? I'm trying to think which play, keeper off the well, option. He had like 30, uh, 36 yards rushing on the, in the two overtimes. Oh, was that right? Yeah, he kept, yeah, he scored yeah a couple seven. of them were scrambles, though. Yeah. We would drop back to pass, and he put his foot in the ground and went. Or if we had a, I, I just, I don't have all this. I, I don't know. You're catching me. Yeah. Uh, 
kind of razzle here. So I, 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 but I, it wasn't direct runs with the quarterback, and I don't think there were options to be honest with you. I think they were pass plays that he scrambled. Well, he seemed to fake. Anyway, the other thing, to see Bosa come off big play. I mean, just talk about that play a minute. I mean, he. The end of the game? The end of the game? Yeah. Yeah, I just, once again, I'm at field level, so I just saw him beat a guy around the edge, and, and the quarterback couldn't step up in the pocket. And that's that's when you have good interior pressure, and that lets your defensive end go play. So um, not that, you know, discarding anybody else, but you kind of expect the way, how good jo- a player Joey Bose is, you kind of expect him to go make a play to win a game. That's and, how talented he is. And last question, Doug. Remember, you talked about one of the man the game, and even with JT, Injury. Was the play calling too conservative in the second half to try to put it away? Yeah, we, uh, there were some throws in there, and we were trying to take some shots. We just couldn't get it done. And uh, and I, I you know you got to watch the film. I have more answers for you, I think, on Monday or Tuesday whenever I talk to you guys. But um, I didn't like the operation of the offense in the second half. We just got to get that fixed. And you guys had some communication issues, it seemed, earlier. Oh, yeah. Kind of just overall handling this scene. You're going to have another scene like this in Michigan State in two weeks. You you know, we better uh, we better worry about getting a little better in certain areas about next week. And don't worry about that one. Uh, but I'd give us I, I I'd give us really good. I mean, it, we had a couple mistakes, but that was real. And overtime, I just go back to the overtime. I stared at a young team out there on offense that was seven points down facing that student body, and uh, they got a, they found a way to put it in the end zone. So, you know what? Those were a couple reads. Yeah. Those were. Yeah. Yeah. Nice call, Tim. <laughs> I know, but I mean, so did y'all tell him it's Mike's either, or was it just purely him? Oh, no, it's, it's a play. That's, yeah, that's yeah, just, yeah. you don't you don't tell a quarterback it might be there. He's right. going to say, yeah, that's what we practice all the time. Right. Thank you very much.